The Cold War was a period of ideological tension stretching from the aftermath of World War II to the 1980s. The 1960s saw a peak in Cold War anxieties. The Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962 had pushed the world to the verge of a nuclear war, and trustworthy intelligence on Soviet actions remained critical. Traditional human spies faced increasing risks as the KGB improved its counter-espionage capabilities. Technological progress in audio surveillance was in its early phases. Large bulky recording equipment were unsuitable for covert operations and microphones capable of picking up confidential discussions from a distance had yet to be created. Since pigeons had been used for centuries to carry messages, it was at this moment that the CIA began exploring the possibility of using animals as a means for espionage. Dolphins were being studied for underwater monitoring, whereas cats were small agile creatures, naturally curious and accustomed to navigating complex environments unnoticed. Their independent nature meant that they could potentially blend in with minimal training unlike dogs which are more prone to human companionship. Enter Project Acoustic Kitty, which aimed to equip a seemingly regular house cat with a sophisticated audio surveillance device. As described in declassified documents, the surgical operation involved a tiny specially designed microphone implanted in the cat's ear canal, allowing it to pick up conversations within a reasonable range. A miniature radio transmitter would be surgically placed at the base of the cat's skull, responsible for relaying the captured audio signal back to a receiver operated by the CIA. Then, a thin flexible antenna would be woven into the fur of the cat's tail, serving as the transmission channel. The technical challenges of Project Acoustic Kitty were immense as the miniaturization of electronic components in the 1960s was restricted. The microphone and transmitter needed to be small enough to be implanted without harming the cat, yet powerful enough to function effectively. The battery life of the transmitter was also a major concern, as frequent recharging would compromise the secrecy of the mission. Finally, the surgical operation was seen as being complex and risky as it raised concerns over animal welfare. But the real challenge of Project Acoustic Kitty lied in training the cats. The ideal Acoustic Kitty needed to be comfortable around humans long enough to be equipped with the necessary technology, yet independent enough to infiltrate sensitive areas without arousing suspicion. It also needed to be able to distinguish between training exercises and real-world scenarios. Unfortunately, their independent nature led them astray from training exercises and their aversion to loud noises and unfamiliar objects made them unpredictable. In the mid-1960s, the CIA deployed a fully equipped acoustic kitty in a Moscow park, hoping it would eavesdrop on a conversation between two Soviet officials. Instead of approaching the target, the cat wandered off into traffic and Despite its failure, Project Acoustic Kitty did have some unintended consequences. The miniaturization efforts undertaken for electronic components eventually led to advancements in biotelemetry, a field that uses electronic devices to track and monitor living organisms. These advancements have had positive applications in wildlife conservation and veterinary medicine. It also paved the way for the development of smaller and more sophisticated listening devices used in modern espionage operations. Ultimately, in the grand narrative of the Cold War, Project Acoustic Kitty remains only as a bizarre experiment which was overshadowed by more significant events.